<laughs> hey there, guys, gals, fans, and pals. Your buddy John Megacycle here. Uh, another episode of the Rift Breaker coming at you. Um, what was our next mission? We've cleared out a few nests. We've done some stuff. What's next? Search for uranium at the new planetary location. Awesome. Blorp. We've got still quite a bit of research on the docket. Uh, I'm pretty happy with our base defenses as of now. Our main, our main base defenses. I don't really know what else we should change up. I should add more missile turrets and flamer turrets and a bunch of other turrets. Like as this fun fact on this page says, or said, diversify your turrets, mofo. We'll have to look into that. Not a super rush, but once we hit, I'm sure, HQ level 6 and 7 and whatever, we're going to want to have that. We're going to want to make sure that our HQ is plenty defended. Red jump successful. I am detecting a very high background radiation in this area. It is dangerously close to the safety limit of my armor. New Good. This means that we really are onto something. I don't expect to find uranium rods lying around. Let's use the geoscanner to search for some ore. Gosh, that would be funny. Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, we're back to square. I wouldn't expect to find uranium rods just lying around. Oh, you wouldn't? That's, that's weird. Okay, some of this already... Some of the flora that's already here is stuff that we've scanned up a bunch. So I guess I don't have to worry too much about scanning. Just a ton of uranium. Hey, look at that. Hot diggity. Did we get it all? Feels like we did. Sixty-one out of seven, or out of sixty-one out of sixty-seven. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot how numbers work. Have you ever been that tired where numbers just stop making sense? Okay, I've already got you. I want to get these stealth boys though. Ow! 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 Okay, okay, bad, 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 bad. bad. Ah, man. Are available for crafting. Weapon dropped. So where do we go? Like, do we just lose the game now? Oh, we do! Rats! Uh... I don't know the difference between these two. Reconstruct. Aw, oh, man! Okay, well, that's our first loss that we've had when we're not at home. I need to be a bit more careful. We're we're hitting levels where I want to do research a bunch, but that's just proving to be dangerous. Okay, we got our gun back. Okay. Kick butt first. Research project later. How about that? Good theory. It seems like a good theory. I would love some better armor if we can get to that. But yeah, my scientist got... My scientist part of my brain got the best of me, clearly. We're getting so close, like level 3 on some of this stuff. New blueprints are available for crafting. I don't even know what I'm researching. Come on, I know we're at like 67 out of 70. Or 66 out of 67 or something. Okay, there we go. There was that. Uh, Hazanite, nice. Huh! You guys stepped on my minds, huh? I got my mindset on you. 
<laughs> you went squeeish. <laughs> oh man, say la vie. All right, anyway. Real minor setback from dying, which is fine. I thought it was gonna suck a bunch of my resources and be like, hey, by the way, I need like a thousand of everything. Which wouldn't be terrible, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would set a better precedent for how careful I should be, because that's still a lot of resources. The is changing. I'm sensing an intense dust storm coming our way. This may affect Come on, our two more. Panels. We won't be getting any good results by searching for uranium this way. This is tedious. Aww. Ashley, this is our lucky day. My sensors are picking up a larger underground uranium deposit. I've marked it on our map. Excellent. Let's go there immediately. So wait a minute. Didn't you just get them telling me that this area barely, like, like, your suit barely protects me from radiation, and you want to just dash to a highly radioactive area? Okay. Gather yeah, your enemies in the Geoscanner 500. Okay. I wonder if both of these missions need to be done, or after I go to the high, highly radioactive area, if that'll just take care of it. Oh, there's two of you. Nice. Nope. Okay, you know what? I don't know why I'm not just switching weapons. Other than it kind of feels like a massive pain in the butt. But, like, explosive damage has done hand over fist so much better. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operation is returning back to normal. Hey, good for us. What is this? Oh, more tanzanite. Nice. I see. No, I see you. Okay, I see a lot of you. Okay. Spin to win and run and gun. Okay, the closest stuff is up there. New blueprints are available for crafting. 33 out of 45. So my guess would be, once we get to a certain point, um, we're here in like a desert radiated zone, as we've been in the past. So what I'm really hoping is, if we have to go to a desert radiated zone again, and we've already done all this research here, and in the prior location, I'm really hoping it's gonna get to the point where it's like, yeah, we've already done 90% of the research, there's only like two new species here. I don't have to scan everything, I just have to pay attention to the three things we care about, or whatever. That's what I'm really hoping this gets to. Okay, so there's all that. Yeah, fire machine gun is perfect. The fire takes care of the little small guys, and the machine gun takes care of, I guess, medium stuff? Or whatever? It works out really nicely, is more my point. Let's get that. Get that big brother. Okay. Yeah, you all don't sound absolutely terrifying. Okay, yep, and there's a bigger biggin, two biggins, three biggins. If you guys could do me a solid and attack each other, that would be just amazing. Okay, we got him. No problem. Light him up. Excuse me, sir or madam, I will get to you in a moment. Did you just explode Tanzan? No, okay. 
or Hazanite, or whatever the yellow one is. And Barrage. Okay. Yeah, that got frisky real, real fast. Okay, there was Hazanite here. That's what I thought. I'm tracking a meteor shower on a collision course with us. With us? With with me specifically? No, 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 no. Okay. I didn't even see the big guy. I didn't even see the big guy. Ah, sad. Hell yeah, reconstruct. Do I look done to you? Okay, what did I drop? A new technology has been developed. New buildings are available for construction. New blueprints are available for crafting. Okay. Thank, thank you for telling me that. Okay. Holy crap, man. I'm gonna go get my gun. What just screeched at me? Okay. That's a fake. Oh, that's the meteor shower. The rock rain is over. That was intense. It sure was, because I spent the entire time respawning. Yep. Super, super intense. Couldn't agree more. Man, so glad I was nowhere near to see it. There are so many big jerks. Oh. Are we clear? Oh my gosh. Panic inducing situations a little bit, huh? Okay, that's just Carbonium. Yep, I don't care. Um, alright. So there's this thing I'd like to deal with or tussle with or whatever. Oh yeah, all over the joint. Thank goodness, I think they tripped both of the mine nodes. Yep, sure as shoot. Sure as shoot. That cleaned up nice. Oh, That's kind of the whole philosophy, right? Like, why would you walk into a trap if you know there's a trap? Because I know there's a trap. I can now defend myself a lot better because I know exactly what's going on. So now we do this. Knowing there's a difficult situation ahead, I can set up mines, I can build a proximity area I can build like something like I will know when something goes screwy because it's you know I control the situation uh dash cryo again okay so I've unlocked the item does that mean I have the item or does that mean like oh yeah grenade okay uh yeah equip okay it doesn't mean no, it means I unlocked it for research. That doesn't mean I unlocked it like I have it. But that's just the research stuff. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's keep at it. I know that's a fake. Geo Trupex. I think I've already got all the research on you. I totally do. Okay, we're gonna do this the hard way.
Whoa. Oh, that does some damage. On contact even, I love it. Cool. Yeah, grenades are probably the one weapon I thought we might be missing in terms of like an item perspective. It allows me to do explosive damage without having to switch weapons. It works out pretty slick. Pretty, pretty slick. How much tanzanite and crap do I have anyway? Uh, the game won't tell me. Okay, that's fine. Keep your secrets. Alright, keep your secrets. Yeah, I can throw the grenade in, like, the middle of the pile while the flamethrower and the machine gun keep up front. Ooh, what does this mean? Due to a recent coronal mass ejection on Galatea's sun. Yep. It may disable some of our equipment. Ooh, that's interesting. I'd like to know what equipment's gonna get disabled before I charge in here like an absolute animal. The ion storm is disabling our equipment. Okay, yeah, but like just the radar? Oh my gosh. Does that say 3200 solar efficiency? Wow! Wowzers! Cool, so I can actually throw the grenade right on top of myself. And that's a good way to get out of a sticky situation, I guess? I want to get those rock boys as much as I can, because I guess once they're stomping around or whatever, they don't count anymore? Or I don't know. Well. These uh, noises also remind me there was a game on the PlayStation Store. It was like Moon... Moon Tower Defense or something? Bad stuff happened on the moon, and you have to build towers to defend your moon, or whatever. Yeah, a lot of those voices remind me of that, too. Okay, there's Ironium there. Those flying stingrays are creepy. Yeah, I thought I took damage for a moment there. <laughs> Hi, happy birthday. Have a grenade. No, I don't want to fight you, big man. Even though I just fed you grenades for breakfast. Is this the one I'm almost done on? No, 76 out of 100. I'll put that as a firm no. That does so much damage. I love it. Let's re-up on some heals. Looks like we're getting pretty close to our destination. Cool. That's exactly what I wanted to have happen. Horrible person achievement level up. Nice, I guess. Can't scan any of your species, so that sucks. You seem like a variant of the other jerks I scanned already. You also see you also seem to be susceptible to mines like the other jerks I've already surveyed already surveyed already. We can do this dance if you want. Okay. Familiarity increased. Rugwig. Ow! What the hell was that? I... To me, it looked like I walked into a plant. The plant exploded. 
Wake up! This is where Tiberium was found, kids. There's a lot of creatures around this area. We won't be getting to that uranium without a fight. You can search for uranium elsewhere, but that's probably going to take more time. You can fight these creatures, or you can try to figure out a different solution. Thank you for the advice, Mr. Riggs. That's very helpful. I don't think that was advice. I think that was trash talk. Are you legit resistant to explosive? Oh, you are. Okay. Yes, keep messing with that landmine. I implore you, it keep like messing with that landmine. Uh huh. Just to be clear, can't scan him. Cool. Yep. It's an earthquake. It's going to seriously damage all buildings near its epicenter. Wow. That dude brought the thunk. Yeah, baby, uranium time. Mm -mm -mm, uranium time. Any more? Was that it? It couldn't have been it. The earthquake has stopped. Let's assess the damage. Okay, it thinks this is a plant, and I don't care. Okay, it happened again. A plant just explodes and a bunch of dudes come out of it. Nobody came out of that though. Uh, thank you. Mush Bit Ultra. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The toast with the most. Okay. What do we have over here? Come on, tell me you're scannable. And... Good chat. Good chat, my dude. Hey, you can skitter around as much as you like. I got no quarrel with you. Ironium, awesome. Not a lot. Not a lot. A new technology has been developed. Excellent. New buildings are available for construction. Minigun tower, new awesome. For crafting. And down here, please. Excellent sauce. Yep, those landmines pretty much took care of everything for me. Mod, hit points per hit game. Whoa. Homing projectiles damage over time. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Can I make a vampire machine gun now? Hi. What do you have? Cluster projectiles. I don't care about that. Damage over time, damage over time. Target piercing would be good. Hit point per gain, 0.11% a hit. That would probably be more effective with a missile launcher or something that does a lot of damage. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on. That would probably be best with a... Um, missile launcher. Unequip the machine gun. I want you to equip this machine gun instead. Thank you. And then we're going to move this machine gun here. I guess two machine guns sounds like a lot of fun, but it doesn't really matter because of how quickly I'm going through ammunition. I don't know, man. I could go either way. I should literally just sell the machine gun and put some other long-ranged weapon there. 
I mean, I've been enjoying the flamethrower. Uh, sir, I have no quarrel with you. I'm just here to pick up your very filthy uranium and trying to get this out of your way. Thank you very much. So this only had, like, the one pile of uranium, right? There's no more... There's no more for me to, like, get. Oh, okay. Hold on. Strike that. Uh, of course. Okay, I'm seeing my hit points increase. I'm pretty happy with that. I knew it was gonna was not gonna be like a monstrous gain, but we would definitely see more of a gain with missile launchers and stuff. Yeah, moon tower defense, moon defense, something. I remember the game. Uh, I don't have it, but I played it forever ago. And that's where this audio kind of strikes me like it's coming from. Cool. Oh, that didn't kill him, right. Yep, that's fine. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing fine. There we go. Yoink, yoink, and yoink. All sensors are down. A lot of our equipment has been disabled. We have to wait until the storm passes. Ah, uh, Tanzanite's nice, but it's not really what I need. That kicked off in a hurry. The number of charged particles has drastically decreased. Okay. Equipment functioning is returning back to normal. Yeah, I mean super, whatever. I was hoping to find more uranium, but I keep screwing around with other stuff. Not a big surprise, though, right? <laughs> I wanted to search and find all the things, and this is after I said, I'm not trying to be a completionist or anything, but... I'm gonna get some stuff. I want to enjoy the game to the fullest possible I can, you know? Is that a baddie? It's totally a baddie. Dude, you were haunched on top of it. Could not have been on it any any closer. So we're gonna go to the lower right, we're gonna pop that tree that's over there or whatever. Decorative flag, okay. The screen went really weird for a moment. Okay, I don't wanna go like way left anymore. I would like to pop this tree, or whatever this is, and then I'd like to finish up our mission before this episode runs out. I'm not trying to, like, finish in between episodes or whatever. If it runs long, it runs long. Big deal. But at a minimum, I wouldn't mind it if we, uh, oops, a if we has been got on a bit more. Are available for construction. No research selected. That's a dilly of a pickle. Research completed. Spear, hammer, power fist, alien camouflage, headquarters level 5, artillery towers level 1, mine layer tower level 1, minigun tower level 1, attack drone tower, 
Oh my gosh. Fusion power plant. Uh, okay, what else? Liquid handling level 3. I would like that. Carbonium factory level 3. Ironium factory level 3. Rare element level 2. And that. Yes, sir. Let's research armory level 3. Oh, what else we got? Railgun tower. Cool. Sonic sensor. Um, what does this one do again? Oh, I think I want that. Something like that. What's this? Laboratory level 3. Building limit cap increase. Research lab. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, what do we need for here? Uh, campaign objective. Okay. Dang, that's good stuff. Okay. Done screwing around. Now it's time for uranium, right? Something. All that. Some more mods. Homing projectiles. Mod projectiles per shot. That sounds interesting. I can't wait till we get the second level of gun, and then we can actually start enjoying and experimenting what some of these things might do. Like, what I really am thinking of is I'd love a cluster missile that has vampire, that has, like, damage dealt heals or whatever. That would be pretty cool. Come on, uranium. Ha! Oh boy. Okay, I probably need one more pull. That sounds about right. Back this way. Okay. Can I get one more? Cool, I'm out. I got level one familiarity. I am out. I could fight him, but I was literally just sitting there with my mouth open like, Hey, how's it going? Uh, you guys work out? Like... <laughs> Dang it! If that don't beat off, there ain't rock monsters all over the place. There's a dense dust storm visible on the horizon. Ashley, that's amazing. Could you tell me about that? Never. Okay. Come on, uranium. I hate dust storms. Okay. Good to know. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I need... Oh, I'll need one or two more. Okay. So that uranium pile we got in the north was very worth it. The only problem is... There wasn't a lot of it. I mean, there was one big pull. But, like, that's it? If there was, like, two or three, we'd be done already. But that did... That did help a bunch. No doubt about it. That significantly helped. At least I feel like it did. Now, if I could get a damage increase as shields, that would be pretty awesome. You good? Man, that was a mess. Nope. Yep. Hey! Hot diggity daffodil. I'm literally 10 short. That sucks. The atmosphere is clearing up. Base operation is returning back to normal.
Okay, I want to try something else. Um... No, cancel. Um... Okay. And then on this... Oh, I can't do the healing? Ah, okay. Well, whatever. So, let's see. Can we get better damage? <laughs> uh... Not really. The range might be really cool, but I like the just general damage. Um, I was really hoping I could put the blanket healing on the flamethrower, because I think that would be a pro-choice. Like, just absolutely dominating. But, eh, the extra damage I like better anyway. Come on, really? I missed. I like how all the little bugs go and eat the body. Circle life stuff, man. Stuff, man. Okay, I don't want to mess with you. There's a lot of crap around here. Awesome! Nice. That worked out incredibly well. Smashing, old chap. Drill, drill, drill. Um... The really nice thing about this game is, like, there's a lot I want to accomplish, personally. I would like to build some mega bases. I'd like to work on redefining our primary headquarters. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. And in that regard, that's kind of my problem is because ADHD, AD, whatever they're calling it now. But I've got enough of an attention disorder that it makes, like, really setting up any particular task difficult. Because there's so much I want to do. And this game allows me to do a lot. Um, very similar to Factorio and Mindustry kind of vibes is I know of like five things I can do one thing I absolutely should be doing right now without fail and the other four stuff is gonna distract me like crazy so I'm just gonna end up doing it anyway kind of like that so like I said I'd love to get home and reset up the base like I a primary a proper primary headquarters because right now we've been kind of skimping around Tech 2 stuff. I haven't really gone in a full update of all the turrets and everything. Which isn't bad. We've survived so far, which is good. But it's kind of been by like the skin of our butts. It will deal serious damage to all our buildings in that area. Oh, so thank goodness I don't have any buildings. Really hoping this is less uranium. Hey, look at that. We've gathered enough uranium samples. We have to search for larger uranium ore deposits that could be mined autonomously. Now that we know the type of uranium ore that is present in this area, we should download the appropriate uranium handling technology to be ready to set up a mining outpost. Ashley, we can use the radiation signature of the uranium ore that we gathered to calibrate the orbital scanner to search for more significant deposits. It's like following a breadcrumb trail, but I feel that we're getting closer. What are we on? Day 29? 
So we've been on this rock for like a month. And we're about to tap uranium? That's pretty freaking exciting. Why are there so many baddies up there? There's a lot of baddies right here, and I want to know why. Those landmines fire off. Oh man, tricky time. Tricky time you wanting to be saving. Pepper him up real good. Okay. Not too bad. Good work, good work. Uh, anything else immediately here? Yes, I want whatever this scan is and then we're gonna scoot. Oh, this was well out of my way. Okay, so what the game is probably going to ask me after I jump, it's going to be like, Hey, just so you know, you can't come back here. And as much as I was worried about that originally, I kind of don't care. Um... There hasn't been anything very compelling for me to want to stay here. We have, what did, what, what do we have? Carbonium and Ironium, the threat level's high, the items here are low. I don't see a real point to any of that. I really don't. Um, some other areas to reconnaissance. Let's hit this up. Tanzanite concentration. That's mostly there's no permanent. Yes, I'm sure. Uh, so kind of similar thing here. Is we're gonna get there. We're probably gonna get enough tanzanite, and that's gonna be that. Uh, yeah, I can't... Well, what I could have done, actually, is I could have used them as mineral dumps. That could have been a thing. Like, just fill it full of storage, but meh. This area is very rich in tanzanite. My scans have indicated two especially large condensations nearby. I have marked their locations on our minimap. Have you? Interesting. We've actually found an oasis in this desert. It looks like one of those condensations is around a pool of liquid. We have to see this. Yes, that is odd indeed. The second location appears to be a bit more standard. It is a large tanzanite deposit hidden underground. It is spread out in a larger radius. Okay, we'll analyze it with the geoscanner as soon as we get there. Oh, okay. I was like, I marked it on my minimap and I'm like, D no, you. why are you lying? Dude, why are you lying? Don't lie like that. There's a lot of just stuff right here for no reason. That would be why. Not for nothing, but for something. A little bit of freaking blood vendetta going on. Man, you guys aren't just gonna let me pass, are you? Ooh, doggy! Okay, just scooting my booty. Later, taters. Almost achieved the get off my lawn! Uh, achievement. Light him up! How oh, are you still alive? There we are. 
Oh, what? And nuts to that. I'll come back later if I really care. More biomass. How much plant biomass are you sitting on? 13k? Awesome. That's going to guarantee a lot of power for a long time for our main base. Wow. This is an actual oasis. It looks stunning. These cacti are growing like crazy near this pond. Is that a normal tanzanite thing? Tanzanite. We can harvest them to gather the resource as well as research samples. Hey, I already did that a ton. We're we're already at 78, 79. Yeah. 80. Yeah, we're already at very mature levels of research. This worked out very well in our favor. All that research I was doing, absolutely paying off. I just didn't want it to be, like, superfluous. Be like, yeah, you can research it for, like, an extra 1% resource gain. But no, this if this is our core way to get, like, Tanzanite... And landmines for you. And rockets upside your head for you. Nice. Yeah, when it's fully pulled back and the chamber's completely loaded, that works out great. Okay, so scan. Oh, s scout. Okay. So just go there. Warning. I'm detecting dangerous sun activity. Yeah, it's fine. Ashley. There is no protective atmosphere over this desert. We're going to sustain damage. The sun is burning us and our structures. It's dangerous, but this activity should not last very long. I've only got like, what, five more? Oh, well, this is a different species altogether. Oh, I'll get to you. Yeah, good chat. Yeah, everything seems to be dropping tanzanite. Heat and radiation levels are returning back to normal. Wow! That worked out amazingly well. 52 of 67. 53 of 67. Sir, I will get to you in a moment. Boof. I done boofed him. What's over here? Right, I can't do anything about that. I'm working on it. <laughs> I want to get some more scanning down. Ashley, there's a lot of tanzanite in this area, but its concentration is so low that I will not be able to excavate it with my equipment. These cacti clearly like to grow in this place. They condense the tanzanite from the soil during their growth process. Oh, wait. Unfortunately, these ones are too small to harvest any meaningful quantities. Aww. Like, we have a plant grower and a plant harvester. Do you know how we can extract the underground tanzanite deposit? We can use the water from the oasis. Yeah! Yeah! If we can build a pipeline from the oasis to the underground deposit, we could speed up the growth of the cacti in that area. These plants will extract the tanzanite for us. Brilliant. Thinking, Ashley. Yeah. The is going to be long, but it will work if we can put it together. The mushbit colonies in the area will not make this easy. Oh, you guys are still alive. You're still alive. Gosh, double tap, double tap, double tap. Why do I keep forgetting that? Okay, is there anything else here I care about? No, and we're at the top of the map. So this works out really well. I only have to really defend a couple of areas, right? We got quicksand, our favorite friend. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I wouldn't mind a bit of a base set up fairly quickly if we can manage. Uh, so you let me build... What? Okay, this is as far as I can build. 
double wide sounds good to me. Let's go ahead and continue this conversation. Something like that. Base is under attack. What? Wh what? Hold on, I think I know what. Yep, that'll do it. Yes, sirree, that'll do it for me. Okay. Let's get this all cleaned up. Defenses will come easier later. I just need to set up a little bit of an idea of exactly what I'm looking for, right? Something like that. Oh, I don't have anything here. Just get us something workable and online is what I'm looking for. Uh, then a repair node, and then we should be looking pretty steady. The walls are really the important thing because it's kind of what gives me, in my mind, a lot less of an area to defend. Uh, that kind of might sound like a really obvious statement, but the I'm thing of it is... Shower on a collision course with us. Oh, neat. Mm, I had to sneeze, excuse me. And the thing is, it kind of... If I have to defend an entire room, let's say, or if I have to defend a box... The box makes things a lot easier for me to defend. Oh wow, like you're not kidding. It gets really, really on me. Build more storage facilities. Yeah, yeah, I'll get there. Is under attack. Yeah, it sure is. Carbonium storage is full. It we also sure is. Uh the rock rain is over. Excuse me? Yeah, I see that. I must have aggroed them while I was moving around. Alright, let's clean this up and then let's call us an episode. Uh, I actually realize I haven't eaten since breakfast. Because I just got to this game and now I'm like, yep, play the game, gonna play the game, gonna play the game. And I'm playing it. You know, so much for those cacti, I've kind of absolutely annihilated whatever was here that we were going to work with. But hopefully the soil's not absolutely jacked. Let's hope the soil's not absolutely jacked. Anyway, my name is John Megacycle. Thank you all for joining me. Another episode of Rift Breakers in the Books. New buildings are available for construction. That's good to hear. Boop! Thanks again, and hope to catch you next time. Hey there guys, gals, fans, and pals, thanks for checking out my video. I also want to take a moment to thank all my supporters and donators, and if you'd like to join up with me and game with my crew, all the information to get connected is in the description below. Thanks again, and I hope to catch you next time.